All right, guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 3 here today with... Soul and Rock. Soul and Rock, okay. And not too much has changed, but we have delved into a new mod today, which is... Yay. The Wonderful World of Britannia. Oh, yeah. So I'm pretty new to this mod. In fact, brand new. Oh, what you about, don't, okay. What doing? So, essentially, what we have here is we have all the flowers we're going to need. And I've already started breaking them apart, putting them, the petals in here. So that way we know which ones we have, which color they are. And they're based on the 16 colors of um, Minecraft. Cool. Cool. So first one we want to get started is we want to get uh, a white daisy. White you want to look that up in JEI and put it together? Uh, sure. White day. Was it a pure? There it is. Pure Daisy. It's all right. Pure Daisy. Mystical white petals in the petal apothecary. The water's not going into it. I'm working on it. Okay, maybe that's not going to work. It's okay. It was worth a try, though. You can still pull a bucket yeah. out of the reservoir. Boom. Uh, do I just wait? Now you need seats. Oh, seats. Okay. He stole it. And now there's a white daisy. So let's go ahead and clear these flowers up real quick. Okay. Okay. So how much space do we need? This works. Okay, there so we what we want to do is we want it kind of out of the way. Okay. So over here, but you want to make sure you have eight blocks around it clear. Yep. Now put the white daisy or pure daisy in the middle. Okay. And you see the particle effects going yeah, on the blocks? I do. Give it about 60 seconds or so. And they should become um, mana blocks or, sorry, mana stone. Or living rock. Living rock. I yes. Got, I got what you mean. Yep. So it's always better to have two of these pure daisies. That way you can always have one going for stone, one going for wood. So we can have living wood as well. Oh, well. Let's make another one. Put on the bucket on it. There's two buckets over there. Oh, well, look at fancy that. Not what I meant to. Okay. Oh. Oh, look, the living rock's done. I, I can see that. We can break it and stuff, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you, you've made a mana pool. All right. So now we want a um, flower that generates mana. The easiest one would have to be the one that takes coal and creates mana from it. Have we made a Lexica Botanica yet? Uh, yes. We have had... Let's see. Let's see. Let's, like, yeah, we have two. Awesome. And you earned an achievement? Uh, yeah. Alright, now what do we do? Ba mana, manipulation, basics, and mechanics. Okay. Garden of glass, petal apothecary, pure daisy, runic altar. Uh, what are we looking for here? 
Look for look at the flowers that generate mana. Or mana generating the floral. Generating flora. Endo flames. That would be them. Uh, brown petal, red petal, and a light gray petal. Yep. That is a thing we can do, I think. So it's two brown petals. And a light gray petal there. And what was the other petal? Petals red. Oh, there's no water in there. Oh no. Okay, I only wanted one bucket of fart. Okay. You might as well just pull a stack of seeds. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so before you place that down, you should put eight blocks of wood or eight logs. Mm -hmm. Let me go get them. We'll get the living wood going. All right, sorry. I'm just making petals real quick out of the flowers in my inventory. So you made that second pure daisy, right? Yes, I did. Light gray, orange, We should put it right here. After you're done. Yep. Now, a good rule of thumb is to never use the last petal. Okay. And the reason for that is you could always take one petal out, put it on the ground. Does it grow? Do you have a bone meal on you? No, I don't need to see. Oh, yep. And that. now you have to always break it with shears. A she pair of shears. Cool. What do I do with this endo flame? Okay, so before you do anything with the endo flame, we're gonna need to get the living wood. We're gonna need to make a mana spreader. Okay. It's the reason I moved the mana pool. Oh. There you go. Got the wood. Okay. So you need a piece of gold and a petal. I believe that's still the recipe. Petal. Oh. Nope, it's just never mind, no gold, yeah, just it. the living wood. I got it. Okay, so point it at the pole, mana pole. Uh, I think that's backwards. Nope, you gotta turn it around. I don't know, what do I break it with? I'm gonna make some more living wood. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay, and now put the endo flame on the side of it. Now feed it coal. Or anything combustible. Okay. Like wood, for instance. Oh, no, I took that. Oh. I'm gonna get whatever that works. Now, based on whatever it is, like we have coal coke, which generates more pat, which generates more pat, uh, flame, mm -hmm. lasts longer. So the longer something lasts, the more mana you get from it. Now, you can't drop a whole bunch at once. It only picks up one. Oh, yeah, well. So that's why we should have a few, like 10 into flames. Mm-hmm. One, two, one, one. Interesting. OK. 
Coop. Got another one. Nice. So we're getting mana. Is there any way to see how much mana is in there? How did you make that uh, mana spreader? With a pedal in seven wood. No, no, I mean, like, where's your crafting grid? Right here. Oh, nice. You have a portable crafting grid. Mm -hmm. Crafting table on a stick, since we can't get a wireless crafting thing for our system. Okay, so I guess we're just going to do some Batania stuff and cut when we get something yep. cool. Right? BRB. We're going to build up some mana, then we're going to have more fun. Sounds like fun. What are your two favorite colors? I'm still on, um, I don't know, orange and red. Pick right. two petals. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Um, we're going to have to cut the episode a bit short today. Sorry, the, having some technical issues. Uh, yeah, my game has crashed yeah. about two times since we have gone off. It hasn't even been that long, so... Um, yeah, we're just gonna go over what we've done so far. Uh, so we added some more, some mana spreaders here to the mana pool. And we got these endo flames spreading mana to them. So, yeah, it's about half full now. And he made this runic altar, which he says is used for crafting the runes, right? Yep. Yeah, the botanical runes. And we got yep, these we just gotta going. get the runes together. Yep. Yep, I'm just... Pounding away at living rock and living wood. All right. And then... And you're going to go over... You, you've been working on another mod? Yeah. Yeah, I've been working on the mod called uh, Psy. Or PSI. Uh, which is pretty cool. Apparently it lets you do... Uh, I, I guess you could call it magic. I don't know. So what you do is you make a cat assembler, which is really easy. Say you wanted the original one, or easiest one. You just grab five iron like that and uh, put it through here. It makes a casting assistance device. Oh, that's kind of a cool sound. Yeah. But, uh... You have a fancy yellow gun. Yeah, yeah, I made a gold gold one. But what you, for, first, what you want to do for your uh, CAD... There. Here. I'll give this one to you. You want it from here? Take that. Okay. And, uh, here. Uh, there you go. Did you shoot that or did I? I didn't. So. I leveled up. Yeah. And you should press, I think the default was numpad 9. You should see a tutorial. On how to yeah, I gotta change it. Start out. I'll have to change it. Yeah, anyway, so you make these, uh, spells and stuff, and. Yeah. You right click and, and cast what what thing. what have you made so far? Just the first one, the basic uh, debug, I guess. It's called trick debug. So that is not what I meant to do. Let's change that to uh, that. Okay. Well, so we're working on we're doing two types of magic. Then we're doing Batania and PSSI. Yeah. You have how many? We have that many chance cubes, really? Yes. I mean, you can make them. They're easy to make. Yeah. Oh, you can make them. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You know 27 is a magic number to make a super chance cube, right? Exactly. That's why I made them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here, honestly. Maybe next episode we can... I don't know. Let's do one right now. Oh, yeah? I need my uh, bullet. So I guess we'll do the, chan the chance cube before we end out. Here we go. Uh, go into the nether. Or should we go to the beneath? 
Let's go Benny. Oh, I have 27. That did practically nothing, but I leveled up. Cool. Anyway, yeah, so it's a really cool thing. Uh, it shows tutorials on it, and it's kind of... I'm kind of dumb. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. The tutorials explain it pretty well. It's a pretty cool thing. You can do some really cool stuff with it. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, where did you go? The beneath of the nether. Beneath, beneath. All right. I'm headed to you. Oh my goodness, this is scary. That dang voice. All right. Here you can. So you want to break it? No, uh, no, that one's yours. Oh no. Well, I mean, it could have been worse. At least it wasn't the bait. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it could have been way worse. Worse. I could have randomly died again. Yeah, that was funny. Oh man, that was great. Are we gonna do yours now? Yes. Here we go. Uh oh. What was that? Inception? Chunk flip. Um, what does that mean? I'm not quite sure. Me either. I don't know. Ah! Alright guys, so my game crashed again during that chunk flip thing. You see, it uh, flipped the entire trunk. Like, end on end. <laughs> oh, what the? Okay, I'm getting out of here. Nope. But, yeah, so... Again, sorry for all the problems this episode. I really don't know what's going on with my computer, but... Hopefully we'll have a solve next time. But, uh... Yeah. So, thanks for coming out. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Or maybe, you know, comment on how to fix my dang thing. I still don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, it's an old computer. I mean, it's, it's not terribly old. I had 12 gigs of RAM said I was running out, so I got another 4, and it still says I'm running out. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios.